I honestly swear the wedding blues are such a real thing. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are all doing very, very well. Apologies that I haven't posted um, for what seems like forever on my channel. Um, it really hasn't though. Um, but obviously I am now back as a married woman, um, which is so crazy to say. Um, but yeah, I like for the past two weeks, I've just obviously, I got married. Um, I've just been soaking in like all of the love, um, looking back at all the photos, the videos, just really enjoying myself really. Um, taking quite a lot of downtime, um, obviously with my husband to obviously just soak in everything because it is so surreal and so just crazy. That's the only way I can describe it. Um, but yeah, it's been a crazy, crazy couple of weeks, um, hence why I haven't really been uploading that much um, compared to how I normally do. Um, and I know that you guys probably haven't seen like a red, regular like weekly upload for the past two weeks. So I do apologize for that, but yeah. Wedding needs must, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'm back now obviously filming my regular content. I am now also back at work. So today it is Tuesday the 25th of July. Um, I went back to work on Saturday. Um, so I did Saturday, so I did Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Um, I'm now off for two days, which I'm so glad about um, because I am extremely tired, like so tired that for the past two weeks, afternoon napping has now become part of our routine which I really need to get out of because for the past three days at work when it's hit like two o'clock I'm like yeah I need a nap um so it's just yeah I'm not really usually one to nap either in the daytime unless like I'm really unwell or I am extremely tired um but mainly I, I'll only nap in the daytime if I'm not very well well, I wouldn't really call it napping, I sleep in the daytime. Um, but yeah, so I've just kind of thrown my comfy clothes on today. Um, and I just thought, you know what, I'll just get like semi ready. Um, obviously just do my hair. This is how I look anyway, 99% of the time. But yeah, that's, that's just me. But I just thought I'll get ready, um, try and get back into some sort of like routine. Um, because obviously we've been trying to get back into a routine for work and things like that. So I was like, oh, I may as well just start trying to get some form of like normality back. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to sit down and film a video for you guys. So I'm just going to basically just give you guys a little bit of like a wedding update, um, like a little bit of a catch up on like sort of what I've been doing, um, why I've kind of been so quiet on YouTube. And I also have a little bit of a charity shop haul. Um, which I thought was great because I know that you guys do actually love the charity shop haul videos. Um, there isn't a lot um, that I got from the charity shop, but I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna show you guys anyway because it's better than not having any charity shop content to show you. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much gonna be this video. Um, obviously just bear with me if I'm still obviously a bit like, eh, eh, because my brain just isn't functioning still. All I can think is wedding um stuff and yeah that's pretty much where my mind is at still um also i don't know if this lighting um i've literally just got one ring light on and the natural light is obviously coming in but i don't know if it's kind of making my hair look a different color than what it is um i did have my hair done just before the wedding um now prior to my last three appointments my hair was like very very blonde um and the only reason I decided to change like the color that I was going for so I sort of go for like a darker blonde now with a hint of like brown in it was because um when I actually went for a dress fitting I had my hair down right in mind I needed to wash it as well but 
we won't get into that. And <laughs> I looked at the back, um, so like my bridesmaid took a photo of the back of my dress, the first time I ever tried it on. So that was February. And I looked at the picture afterwards and I was like, my hair looks horrendous. Um, because I was getting like highlights put in. So like, it was just like continuous blonde being put in. And obviously I don't think I'd been to the hairdressers for quite a while. So I think I'd skipped like a few appointments and obviously like my roots had started coming through. So yeah, it was just like, my blonde was like all the way down to here. And then like the rest was just like a really horrible light brown tone color and it just didn't look nice so i was like yeah i'm steering away from the blonde i'm going darker um but it actually suits me a lot better um it doesn't make me look as strange in the face i don't know if anybody else has that but like when you've had your hair dyed for like a certain color for so long like you start you start to feel like it like just makes you look a bit washed out so i was like yeah i really fancy a change but i don't want anything drastic so yeah that was that i also still have my wedding nails on um which are essentially very long for me um but you know what i absolutely love them um and i'm just so happy with them but yeah so they're still on great um and it is very difficult to try and do my job with long nails as I have discovered for the past three days at work. Um, and we all know the reason as to why I don't really wear long, long nails. Um, from, I think if you go way back on my channel, I explained that with me having to move a lot of things, my nails were just pinging off and it was painful and actually caused a bit of damage to my natural nails. So yeah that is that but on that note um i'm just gonna get into it and i feel like i'm just being so awkward in this video um but yeah i'm just gonna get into it and just talk you through the wedding um show you what i got from the charity shop uh general bits like that but yeah so i'm just gonna get into it so yeah our wedding day was just like the most perfect day that we could have asked for there was not a single thing that went wrong everything just went as we planned it to um the venue was perfect the cake that we had was amazing um just everything from like arriving to the venue to getting ready to then obviously the ceremony to then obviously all the pictures we had um taken um and everything else i also did take my camera to film certain snippets throughout the day um which was really nice because it's so nice to always be able to sit down like with your husband and just look through everything um and i just thought that it was really nice to have um and obviously we're gonna have that forever now so that's just perfect um everything was just amazing the weather was incredible um it wasn't like too hot um but it was just nice um so the weather was amazing um and i think we pretty much had the last nice day of july um because every day since then it has rained um and it hasn't been very nice at all um but yes yeah, so the wedding day was just amazing um <laughs> i did actually get quite emotional at one point um when i actually put my husband's suit like back in the bag um i did start crying because i felt very emotional about it um my dress is just sat downstairs in the bag um which i'm actually quite impressed with because i didn't actually get any dirt marks on my dress which for a clumsy girl like me that is a skill and a half um and i don't know how i haven't got like any dirt on it or anything like that is beyond me i will never know um, considering I was walking through grass um, the whole lot but nonetheless it's still in good condition but I am going to get it dry cleaned um, because I just want it to be fresh um, and I am going to keep my dress um, I just don't have the heart to get rid of it or to sell it um, I don't know I just I can't bring myself to do it 
um, and I know that it's just going to be sat there in the bag for years and years and years but it's just like a special memory and a special part of our day um, and I know that my husband isn't going to be getting rid of his suit um, but you know we've paid a lot of money for these things and yeah I just I don't know how I'd feel about selling it to someone or getting rid of it you know I'd, I'd, I think I'd feel quite upset because it's like a very sentimental part of your day it's your dress and your suit and all those types of things are the big bits what make your day essentially um so yeah I don't want to get rid of it um it's just gonna stay in the bag and I'm gonna keep it like that um but yeah everything was just amazing if you watched my previous video that I put up on my YouTube um I've just titled it I got married um, and then just put the date the 13th of the 7th 2023 um I have included like pictures um of the decor that we had at the venue the cake um me with my dress on um obviously we're still waiting on quite a lot of the photos to actually come back um so we've had most of them back um the next day um prior to our wedding but we're still obviously waiting for the majority of them to come back um now in that video i didn't like put any like family members in there um i didn't put obviously my husband in there even though i know that he probably wouldn't mind um yeah i just thought i'd just include pictures of myself and um, the venue different things like that obviously for you guys to look at and so you guys know kind of why i've been a bit quiet on youtube um so i just did put together it isn't a very long video i think it's about four minutes long um but yeah it's just a little snippet into the day um but yeah i just thought that would be nice for you guys to obviously see um in terms of like guests we kept it very minimal um at our wedding we didn't have many guests at all but that was really nice and it felt like a very intimate day uh, because everybody just got on with everybody um it meant that we could spend more time together as a newly wed couple because i feel like with weddings where there's so many people you like find it difficult to obviously try and spend as much time with your husband or your wife and um, because you're too busy going around speaking to everyone all the guests um, different things like that we approximately had three tables in the daytime and five tables in the evening so it isn't a lot of people at all but we were more than happy with the number of people that we had at our wedding it was a very close-knit um, bunch of people and yeah it was just amazing um, so yeah we just preferred it that way um, and obviously it meant that we could spend more time together as a married couple um, we also opted for the option of like the kind of top table that people have um, in fact if you go on my previous video you will see the top table so there is a light up neon sign that says just married um, and then you'll see like the two seats with like a bit of um, foliage garland on the table that is actually where me and um my husband sat um so we decided to just sit together um and not include anybody else on the top table um because we thought that it was a bit more of a more intimate moment and we kind of just wanted that time for us um to be able to sit together just us two alone um and we quite like the idea of being able to look out and see all of our guests um happy just chatting away to each other um and it also gives you that kind of like not security but like it's your time it's your moment together um you can kind of discuss like certain things um and it's just nice because you can like fully engage with each other without anybody else kind of interrupting you because obviously we had um they call it the wedding breakfast so it's like a three course meal um which was really really nice and the food was incredible um we were so full after that um but you know we wouldn't have changed a single thing and ever like the way that we 
had placed the tables, who we sat people with. It all worked out like really, really well. Um, the tables weren't too far apart either so people could like sort of turn their backs and talk to each other if they wanted to. And it was just really, really nice. And then in the evening, everybody just kind of mingled with each other, sat kind of where they wanted to sit. So I say essentially we had five tables. One, two, three. Yeah, four tables. Um, it kind of wasn't like that. People just sat where they wanted to or moved about where they wanted to. So it was really, really nice. Um, and it was just so fun and lovely to see people like mixed together. Um, I actually didn't have anyone from my family at our wedding. Um, and I am glad that I made that decision um, because the day just went incredibly well. And all I'm gonna say is if obviously you are due to get married um, and obviously you're watching this video, in terms of family and friends, if somebody doesn't contribute to you and your new husband or new wife's life, if they don't bring positive vibes, if they don't support the pair of you if they have a vendetta against one of you or they're just simply not very nice people don't invite them to your wedding because you're then think you're then kind of giving them control in letting them think I can walk all over this person because I'm now being invited to one of their most precious sentimental days that they're probably going to ever have in their lifetime and don't feel guilty for it because I certainly didn't and you shouldn't either. Um, now I know there's probably going to be a lot of mixed emotions on that but that is fine but that is just my personal preference and the day went a lot better um, without certain people there than what it would have gone if there was certain people there. But yeah, nonetheless, you've just got to do what you think is right. And that was definitely a good decision um, for me and also for my husband. Not only that, but for other people that were going, you don't want to make any other people feel uncomfortable. And the day is all about you and your husband. So although you might have the best interests of other people at heart, you've got to think about you and your husband or you and your wife on that specific day rather than oh, but this person might feel sad, This I might upset this person, I might this, I might that. It's not about anybody else, it's about you two. Um, it's your wedding. Don't forget, you guys are the ones that are paying the money for this. Um, this is going to be a day that you're going to remember for the rest of your life. Um, so yeah, just go with the things that you feel is right. Um, and this is turning into a very rambly conversation. Sorry if um, any of you guys are watching and you're already half asleep. Um, but yeah, I'm just saying it how it is. And yeah, just that's my opinion. Um, and I'm glad that I went with those choices on our wedding day. As I was saying, they are just obviously my choices, my preferences. But nonetheless, um, obviously, if you guys do want to ask me any questions about the wedding if you guys want me to do some sort of tips or hints um for like wedding planning the day of the wedding then obviously please feel free to comment down below in the comment section um and i'll sort of do like a bit of a q a for you guys because there are so many things about planning a wedding the actual day of the wedding the aftermath of the wedding that nobody ever really prepares you for or really tells you about um and it's crazy to think that this Thursday, it has been two weeks since I got married. Like the time goes so, so quickly. And the day of your wedding, the way that I'm glad that we only had sm like a small number of guests at our wedding is the day goes by so fast. It will literally feel like the quickest day of your life. And before you know it, all of your guests have gone home and it's technically the next day. Um, 
and it does go by so fast. From the minute that you arrive at that venue or from the minute that you wake up and you're, if you're getting ready at home, the day will just absolutely fly away with you and it's scary how fast it goes. Um, so that's why I'm glad we had small numbers because it meant we could have more time on the day with each other um, and it was a lot more intimate. Also, we had a wedding planner um, because we actually won the venue um, where we got married. Um, however, we still obviously had to pay certain things, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and she was amazing from start to finish. She was there during our ceremony as well. Um, and she was just the most loveliest, loveliest woman I've ever met. Um, her intentions were so pure. Um, she was so lovely and yeah she you I just couldn't recommend her enough um, and everything that she did for us um, even on the day of the wedding she got a bit emotional um, which you know it's never nice to see but obviously it's happy tears um, but it's just always sad because you're like oh well this person's kind of been in our lives for so long and now we're not going to see her or speak, probably speak to her again. And it's quite sad. Um, but yeah, it's, it was just so nice to have her to be part of our day and to actually be there with us during the ceremony. Um, but yeah, so nonetheless, I'm going to shut up now um, and stop rambling everybody's ear off because I know you're all probably just here for the charity shop part. Um, but yeah, so like I said, if you guys want me to do a bit of a Q&A, um, please pop any questions um, or anything in the comment section and I'll make a video and answer everything in a bit more detail for you guys um, so that you can kind of understand a bit more if there's certain things you want to know, if there's any more pictures you'd like to see, um, details like of the dress or anything like that, then obviously please just pop it all down below in the comment section and I'll make a video on that for you guys. So, heading off to the charity shop part, <laughs> as always. So as you guys will know, we actually haven't been on a honeymoon yet. In fact, I don't actually know if you guys will know that. We haven't been on a honeymoon yet. Um, we are having our honeymoon later on in the year. Um, it just worked out a bit better for the both of us, but we have obviously had two weeks off. We went to Chester, um two days after we got married um and spent the night there and it was just incredible and yeah we just had the best time and obviously it wouldn't be a day out for us if we didn't hit up a few charity shops so yeah <laughs> and i just thought you know what i'll film a haul for you guys as well whilst i make this video so going in strong ideal one of my favorite things we got some face masks now i know these are christmas face masks but nonetheless um who doesn't love a face mask so these were sealed um, they hadn't even been opened um none had been taken out um so i have actually already used some out of here so they just come in like it's like a little storybook type thing the way that you open them um so these obviously are christmas face masks so they are the so it is by a brand called sense and it's the let it glow face sheet mask book um so in there it comes with this is as jolly as i get um there's like a little christmas pudding um hot chocolate weather um a hot chocolate face sheet mask and it's time for sweater weather um, and I just thought that these were really, really cute considering um, they hadn't been opened. And yeah, you all know I love a good face mask. So these were two pounds. Now I know that sometimes during Christmas time, um, sorry if it's too early for the C word, um, during Christmas time, these um, are usually in like places like B&M um, as part of like a gift set. Um, and these will range from like five pound onwards. Um, but yeah, I love these, so yeah, that's them. I then also picked up this really cute 
um, Disney frame. Um, let me see if I can get it out just to show you guys a bit better. So, again, I don't think this has ever been used. So this is what the frame looks like. So it is a Clinton's um, frame. And I just thought that this was really, really cute. Um, and I'm gonna print out and get a wedding photo stuck in there. So it just says, Mickey and Minnie, Lady and the Tramp, Simba and Nala, Cinderella and Prince Charming, Buzz and Jessie, Beauty and the Beast, Mr and Mrs Potato Head, and you and me. And I just thought that was really cute. It's a bit soppy, but that's what Disney's all about. Um, and I just thought that it was very, very cute. So I got this for £3.50. Um, now, I've never brought a photo frame from Clinton's, so I'm not entirely sure on how much the like RRP would be for this photo frame. Um, but usually I imagine quite expensive. Um, but yeah, absolutely in love with that. And that is gonna go nice with a gorgeous wedding photo. Um, propped into there so very excited um, to actually get all the photos back print some out and find one for this um, next off this one is definitely one of my favorite ones um, so this actually my husband got me this one um, I went for my hair appointment um, and he obviously dropped me off picked me up and when I got in the car he was like oh, I've got you a surprise and I was like what and he was like, close your eyes. So I closed my eyes and he was like, hold your hand out. So I was like, holding my hands out. Didn't expect it to be like as heavy, well, kind of as heavy as it is. So he got me the Zoe Sog uh, Quarterly Invited book. And it is actually signed um, by Zoella as well. Oh, um, now I know that this book is quite old. Um, but nonetheless, I am freaking excited for this. Um, I am just obviously finishing off my um, Molly May book before I start reading this one. Favourite thing. Um, I actually saw this two days in a row and I was like, the first time I saw it, I was like, that's so cool. Like, I really want that. And I don't know why I didn't pick it up. And, and then the next day I went in and it was still there and I was like, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get it. I don't know why I didn't, um, like the first time around, um, but I, I caved. I'm just trying to pick it up off the floor. Um, so <laughs> this is um, a home studios um, like camera clipboard, and yeah, <laughs> I just thought this was um, amazing and. I don't know what it was about this that I just thought, oh my God, that is really, really cool. I really need that in my house. Um, <laughs> don't know. But yeah, I absolutely love it. And I absolutely love just doing this with it. Don't know why. Um, but yeah, so I was very, very pleased with that. This was only four pounds. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, um, I do actually want to either try and maybe stick it up like here somewhere um, or get a bigger desk to put it on because it's not really quite, I don't really have enough room on my desk to put it on. Um, so yeah, it's either gonna go like, I'm gonna put it on the wall somewhere or yeah, I will put it by a bigger desk, but we shall see because right now this is just living on the floor um, underneath my desk because I have nowhere to put it. But I thought it was a cool buy, not gonna lie. Um, could just do with some chalk now to uh, just write a few bits on and uh, might even make a great video opening. Um, you guys will probably get sick of that. Um, but yeah, I thought that was really cool. Um, next thing that I picked up, um, this is a, another favorite. This is a like jacket coat um from zara and i don't even think this has ever been worn um so as you can see it's from zara um and i just absolutely loved the design of it so it's kind of like a check 
um, design. Um, it's very, very comfy as well. I've already worn this a few times. Um, we had date night the other night to the cinema and it felt so cozy to wear this and it just felt so, so nice. Um, this was £9.99 from one of the charity shops. Um, now, I know that like certain Zara clothes um, can be quite expensive. This top that I'm actually wearing is actually from Zara as well and I paid £12.99 for this. Um, brand new, obviously, from Zara. Um, but there was just something about this jacket that when I saw it, I absolutely fell in love with it. I just love anything that is like patterned like this. It's even got like inside pockets as well. Um, and yeah, I was very, very chuffed with that. Um, so yeah, that's another great purchase from the charity shop. Um, next thing that I got was this dress. So it just looks like this. It's probably a bit awkward, but it's um, it's kind of like a skater dress at the bottom. Um, but I absolutely loved the color of it. I just liked how it kind of is shaped like here. Um, and I just thought it was really cute. Um, I love the color as well. And this was £5.99 and this is from Boohoo. Um, which, yeah, I could go on the Boohoo website and find this and purchase it, but it's just never the same. Um, so yeah, I absolutely fell in love with this and I thought this would have been really nice for when we go away on our honeymoon, um, if we're going out in the evening or something like that. I just thought it was a really nice dress. Um, so yeah, very happy with that one. Um, and then I also picked up this like really oversized um, t-shirt. Um, I think it's a t-shirt dress, not entirely sure, um, but nonetheless, it's really nice. Oh, I thought it had a hole in then, I was gonna say. Um, but this is from Pretty Little Thing. Um, yeah, and I just thought this was really, really cute. Um, and this was, if I remember, I did rip the um, label off, was £3.50, I think. Not 100% sure. I think it was £3.50. Um, but yeah, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Um, and I just love the pattern of it. And it is like huge hugely oversized so that will go nice with a belt and maybe my white converse will go lovely with that um so yeah very happy with that one and then last but not least um i absolutely love this one as well so this again is also from the charity shop um surprise half of my clothes are um so it's just this gorgeous like white um vest top <laughs> um couldn't think of what it was called then um but it's just really nice there was just something about it that was just gorgeous and really like drew me in um i absolutely love the fact that you can obviously like make bows out of the straps as well um which i just think is really really cute um and then the back of it just kind of has this like um roughened material um yeah and i just think that it was gorgeous and this is by a brand called bravo textile um yeah so that was also on my mind for another holiday outfit a pair of some nice shorts um again maybe some converse um yeah so i just thought that, that was really nice um so yeah that is pretty much everything that i got from the charity shop and uh, there isn't actually a lot because obviously I didn't actually see that much um, this time around, but obviously you never know. Some days are better than others, if that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, so that is obviously pretty much everything that I got. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so I think that pretty much concludes today's video. I don't actually know how long this video is going to be. I've been filming for about an hour and a half. So 
I don't know how long it's going to be, but we shall see. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, um, sorry that it's very chatty and might seem like it's a bit all over the place. Still feel like my brain is in wedding mode and I haven't like fully come out of that yet. But the wedding blues are a real thing as well. Like we literally said to each other yesterday, like we just feel so like ugh, down and like not down, but we just want to go back and do the day all over again. And we just feel like it went way too quick. And we just wish we could go back to like this time two weeks ago when we were getting ready. Um, like the few days before, just prepping, making sure we've got everything, everything's ready, sorted, like ready to go. And yeah, you just kind of, after it happens, you just kind of feel like, and then just like the thought of having to go back to work. I've got the hiccups. It's just, yeah, it, the wedding blues are a real thing and they are not nice. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, we move. We're now married and very, very happy. Um, but yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this some form of chaotic video. If you did, then obviously please don't forget to obviously like and subscribe and also turn on my notifications so that it will let you guys know when I upload a video. Um, so you can obviously keep up to date with um, my videos and my uploads. If you haven't seen the wedding video that I posted previously prior to this video, then go over and check it out. Um, it's only a four minute video. It's not very long at all. I don't, in fact, I don't even think it's four minutes long. But yeah, go check it out. And obviously you guys will be able to see like a little insight to the wedding day. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I will obviously be back now posting regular content. Um, and like I said, any, vi uh, any videos, any questions that you guys have um, regarding the wedding, um, regarding like the charity shop hauls or anything like that, then obviously please feel free to pop them down below in the comment section and I will do a Q&A on the wedding questions and also in my next video or whatever video I will answer any questions that you guys might have. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much it for this video. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys have a lovely week, whatever you are doing, whether you're spending it with friends, spending it with family, if you are working or if you are off of work, I just hope that you guys all have a lovely, lovely week. And thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. Um, it never goes unnoticed. And yeah, thank you so much to everybody um, new that has subscribed. Um, it really does mean a lot. And yeah. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.